All right, we are going to demonstrate how to design and prep the uh, 3D printed Hot Wheel project. So I'm doing this a little differently. I'm not doing a screen capture because I'm going to kind of be moving back and forth to a different, a uh, few different little projects. So in our classroom, up under classwork, ooh, this isn't quite uh, finished yet, but there will be a video, this video attached here, and there will also be this document. Uh, there's a couple of things we need to know for doing 3D printer stuff. All right, so this has a list of the things that we we can do. Uh, very, very, very important that your uh, design is the correct size okay and it's we're gonna we'll show you this here in a second it's gonna be one inch by two and a half inch no taller than one inch okay on the next page we'll go into that uh, no overhangs okay we can't just have magical pieces that that hang out in space like this with some exceptions we can do bridges, okay, where this goes across to another piece, this will print just fine. These, when you try and print something like this or like this one, uh, the printer goes up, it does a line, a layer, a layer, a layer, and it keeps going up and up. And when it gets up here, it starts moving out, and these things tend to droop, okay? Uh, number three, no fine details. The printer actually can do some pretty fine stuff. All right, let me give you an example. This uh, is not something we designed. This was downloaded, but you can see there, there are a lot of very teeny tiny little details there. So we can add details uh, and they can be actually fairly small. This, we're gonna go backwards to everything we've taught you so far. The project has to be solid. No components. It has to be one piece, okay? Can't have any holes in it. Uh, it can't, it has to have a thickness. You can't have just uh, surfaces and then no reversed faces. We'll explain what that means here in a second. All right, so here's what we're gonna build. It's rotated. Uh, we're going to start by making one inch by two and a half inch block. We're going to make it one inch tall. Uh, the wheel wells, uh, we need to stay fairly close to the half inch by quarter inch. Okay, so let's make this first. So I'm going to jump over to SketchUp here. And we're going to get rid of this lady. Uh, it, this box is going to be really small. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to type one. Shift quotation, comma, 2.5, shift quotation, enter. And it looks like nothing happened, but unless if you look really, really closely, you can see it way down here, right? Push pull, we're going to pull that up one inch. One shift quotation, enter. All right, so the arch is half an inch long. So if I click here, I'm going to go on this line, I'm going to type 0.5, shift, quotation, enter. Okay, and now I do the bulge part. And you notice it only gives me these options, either here, or here, or there. There's nothing in between. SketchUp really struggles with fine details. There is a way to get around this. We get around it by typing a measurement. So if I type a quarter of an inch or 0.25 shift quotation, enter, there we go. So I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna get my move tool, and I'm gonna click it down on the bottom, hit control to copy, and I'm gonna copy it back like that. I'm gonna select them both, hold the control key down, click, I'll get my move tool, and I'm going to click on the bottom again. Don't click up here because we're trying to line it up with the bottom. Control to copy. And we're just going to go straight across. 
until we get on that edge. Click. All right, now we can push those in. Again, 0.25, enter. I can match this one. Click this one and go 0.25, shift, quotation, enter. And then I'm gonna match or infer that one, okay? So there's my start. From here, uh, so everybody should have something like this. Your, your arches for the wheels might be a little different location. Now, remember I said no overhangs? Well, isn't this an overhang? Yeah, it is. Uh, small overhangs, they work. If you look, you can see, see what happens right there? Right here, see how it kind of gets droopy? Uh, same thing right here on the edge. So overhangs, and this isn't a real great print. That was on an older printer. Uh, this was actually printed on its edge, and it had a bunch of extra material to help this piece print. So it was printed this way. Um, and normally, if we didn't have that extra material, it, the, the whole track would have been droopy. It's actually two pieces, too. So this was printed separately than this, okay? Uh, all right, so small overhangs, they work. From here, you get to do whatever you want. You can make it a truck, make it a car. Um, you can add details, however you would like, maybe... Uh, ooh, that, and remember I, how we have this issue? So you're gonna have to try typing measurements. So I'm gonna try point, mm, point one, enter. Whoa, I forgot something very important, didn't I? I'm gonna try point one inches, enter. That doesn't look too bad. And then I'm gonna have a straight line for the windshield, maybe right there. I'm gonna do another arc from here to there. And I'm gonna say 0.15, shift quotation, enter. Yeah, I don't like that. Control Z, let's, let's redo that one. Uh, the other thing, you, the other trick, see if I am on this edge, it gives me more options. So if you're using an edge, it's not as rough trying to find a, this type of measurement. So I'm gonna go right there. Okay, so we can chop that out. Um, I'm going to erase that line, and I'm going to just hand draw on here. It, oop, I don't want that. Well, okay. Um, let's see, I'm going to check something. So up here um, on window... Model, or sorry, model info. Yes, this is part of my problem. Normally it's not as bad as it is. I'm gonna change this to inches. Decimal, and I just click click out. Oops, just close that. Now I should have a much easier time. Yeah, see that? So it's not gonna be as bad. So uh, we don't have to tar type quite as much, but I'm going to come back here, do my arc, another line. Like that. I'm going to push this all the way through. Now, will this print? Eh, probably not. This roof right here is going to be very droopy. Instead of doing it that way, do a straight line. If you do a straight line, that's not an overhang, that is a bridge. Okay, so this will print just fine. And I could even come inside of here and, oops, we could do my offset tool. We could add some details in here, but they have to be all part of this. Last time we would have made seats as a component and moved them in. Now, I'm just making it, it's all the same piece, right? Can't, can't have separate components. But I could go like 
this and then, okay, so I can do something like that, right? And I could, I could make another one right here next to it. You are not making tires. We're not making wheels. That's something separate. Uh, something else to remember. If you do something like this, that is not going to print. Lines on the surface of a face like this, they will not print. You have to make it 3D. If I pull this out just a tad like that, that will print. Okay? So we can still, I could copy this. Okay, I can copy that over here. Then I can pull this one out just a tad and I can match that. Woo, turn it, get out of my way there. Match it to that one. They have to be 3D. All right? So you can see on this one, it's got some, those were pushed in, those headlights. Uh, there's like a license plate spot. We've got, uh, you know, through there, and there's even some stuff inside there. We've got a seat, a um, little bump, and we've got some lights on the back. So this is a pretty basic one. One other cool thing you can do, uh, this isn't going to work on this one, but you can make it work. So if I did this, I can push this in, right? So now I have a windshield. If I had made sure this line right here was parallel to that line, I could push it all the way through. But right now, I have a problem. Because it's not, see how it's just a little crooked? It didn't match up. You can see right there, it's not, it just doesn't line up. Okay. Well, if you remember how to triple click intersect faces with selection. Now I have a line there. I can erase this stuff. We cannot have any of this purple stuff because that's a reversed face. Okay, but now this is just a flat surface so I click on it and I'm gonna push the delete key. Okay, that will print. That's kinda cool, right? We still gotta get rid of this purple stuff here. Okay. That line, that line isn't going to really do anything because it's on a surface, but we can erase it if we want. Oh, uh-oh, we got a problem there. We just made a hole. See the hole? So we might just have to leave that line there. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay, so that would print. We could do something similar with a back window if we wanted, but again, on curved surfaces, it's, it's pretty hard. We could do taillights. Um... No components. We have to have a flat bottom. We can't do anything to the bottom. We need these wheels this size, but you get to choose the location. You could even do a mirror if you wanted. We could draw a box on here, and we could pull this out like this. Now, remember I said overhangs like this won't print? Well, little ones will. And if we go at an angle like that... Closer to 45, so the better. So we're, we're like this. If it, The more this way it is, the better it's going to print. Okay, and then I could draw a line on the top. And you notice I'm not doing any components. So there's our mirror, right? Maybe a little fat. We could skinny that up. So that would print. We could do something like that. You could try a steering wheel. In fact, the steering wheel doesn't even have to be... Um, you know, all the way down, we could, we could draw a circle. Oh, we could just do this. Oh, I don't know. Let's try this like that. And then I'm just going to pull it out this way a little bit. All right. Uh, maybe we could push that in too. I don't know. There, that would probably print. Oh, except we have a big hole right there. That's not going to work. Can't have any of those holes. Let's see, how do we fix that? Uh, I'm gonna try drawing a line like this. That fixed part of it. If we connect that, and so it's kind of working. We have to go all the way across this and fix that just by drawing a bunch of little lines. And like I said, those lines are not going to change the print, okay? They're not going to hurt anything. 
you won't see them on the print so I could go all the way across and patch that up but we can't have any of these holes where it goes inside or it messes up the print okay so we could put a grill on here you know we could uh, I pulled the I'm not taking the time to center anything but you know we could do all sorts of fun stuff so have some fun with it add add details try and add details as much as you can um, try and add shape we could we could do this we could use the follow me tool let's see how this works if I draw an arc right here okay and I get the push pull or not the push pull to follow me I can go up around I see it's gonna crash right there I made it too big let's see what happens this might be kind of interesting and let's just go right to there so the back looks cool but it didn't work up here and the front looks kind of cool so you can play with the follow me tool on the edges um, maybe I just go up to there and stop or maybe I could make that arc a lot smaller um, we could put taillights on the back. There's all kinds of fun things we could do with this. All right, so things to remember. Very first thing you should do, come up here to Window, Model Info, and make sure it's set to inches, decimal and inches. That will make your life very, very easy. First thing you do in SketchUp, make sure you do decimal inches. I didn't show you that first in the video, but I'm telling you now, do that first okay the other things you need to remember are found on our uh, worksheet it needs to be the correct size the measurements are here and down here um, try and stay away from overhangs or really steep overhangs but bridging is okay it needs to be manifold you can't have any holes or reversed faces oh let's talk about reversed faces for just a second so reversed face is when you get that purple. Okay, so there's a reversed face, right? There's another one. So to reverse a face, to get rid of the purple, we don't just paint it. You click on it, right click, and oh look, here's make component. Maybe not, I don't see it. But we can go right here where it says reverse faces. And I click it, and now it's right side out. Normally this would work, but where this is not a 3D shape, this piece right here, it's just a 2D shape, look what it did to the other side. It reversed that one. So again, that's because of the follow me tool. Uh, it should be one solid piece, 3D, no just flat surfaces like this, which if you're careful, you shouldn't have. All right, so can't wait to see what you guys turn out. Um, if I, I, I will try and get a bunch of these little 3D printed button wheels. Uh, we can glue them on. If you would rather bring your own Hot Wheel in, we can cut a Hot Wheel apart, take the wheels off of the Hot Wheel, and glue them onto this, and you'll have nice wheels that actually roll. But that part is up to you. All right, let's see what you come up with. Have fun.